Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. I came across a modification of our quick hank method that we've used on this channel plenty. Um, so if you're familiar with that, this is a potentially faster way to tie it. It doesn't look quite as pretty, but it has some advantages of its own. This wasn't thought up by me. It was a guy named Morris Krachansky, and we'll put a link to his channel down in the description. So with that, let's dive in. So this method works best if we're dealing with less than 50 feet of paracord. If it's more than that, then it's pretty hard to tie a hank in our hands. But what I've gone and done is just done a simple overhand knot in the end of the paracord. I like to mark one end with a knot anyway, because that's the end I'll pull to undo it. So I'm just gonna stick that between two fingers. And then I'm gonna take my cord and wrap it over the top of my thumb, and then over the top of my pinky. And we'll just alternate back and forth between those two. And this cross in the middle, that keeps things from getting tangled and our, our loops from going over the top of each other. It'll make sense later. So we'll just keep on going with that. I like to just move my left hand, the one with the paracord, instead of moving my right hand. I find that I can wrap it a lot faster that way. And just a reminder, all we're doing here is over the thumb, over the pinky. There's 25 feet of paracord and my fingers are getting pretty full. We can manage to get 50, like I said, but works best with lengths shorter than that. So then when you have about one foot left of cord, we're gonna put that in between those same two fingers, grab a couple fingers of our right hand, go down through here, make three twists, one, two, three, so that there's at least two wraps over the top of this cord. We want to keep on hanging on to the end with these two fingers up here. Put in a couple fingers through that loop and fit it over the top of our hank while pulling our thumb out. And then the end of the cord, we're going to cinch tight to fasten this all in place. So again, not quite as pretty as our other method of tying this hank but it is extremely practical and very quick to tie once you get it down. So now to unravel this, all we need to do is pull that end with the knot. That's the end that we started with, and it'll all come undone without any tangles. I rarely have this pull out with really any knots at all. Sometimes at the very end, with our old method, we would have the part that is wrapped around the hank, would kind of have some twists in it, but this one does an even better job of just coming all the way undone without any tangles or twists. So we'll do that, just pulling on that as much cord as we need. If we were tying up a bear bag or something, what we can do is then just cinch this down even tighter. That's another thing that you couldn't do with the other hank. So you'll see what it looks like when we get it all the way to the end. And that end knot really just comes undone with hardly any twists. So in case you haven't seen our old video on this topic, here's what our other Hank variety looks like. It's got more wraps around the middle, and so it's a nice, neat package. Um, but it does have a little bit of a drawback when we are pulling the cord out. So we can do it the same way as before, but then if we only need to use half the cord, now we have this loose bundle that's a little bit hard to tighten down in the middle. And then when we get to all the way to the end, we have this twist of cords that is a little bit more tangled than in the other version. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and will maybe even adopt it as your preferred method of paracord storage. Again, check out the link in the description for Morris Kamansky's video on the subject, and he also provides some history behind the knot that's pretty interesting. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.